Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my monthly favourites for you all and I seriously cannot believe we are nearly in October already. Can't believe it at all. Firstly, I'm going to apologise if you can hear drilling, banging, anything like that. It is two doors down from me having work done and they're starting to do my heading. But yeah, anyway, that's a, a whole different story. So yes, today I'm going to do my monthly favourites and if you follow me on Twitter you may know I have actually been ill for the last two and a half weeks. So there isn't really loads of makeup that I've been wearing or using or trying or doing anything with. But yeah, so um, I thought I'd share with you all the makeup that I, or products, I have been actually wearing and loving through this month so I'll just get straight into it. So the first thing is a new brow kit, well relatively new and um, I have done a blog post and a video on how I use this before so if you want I will leave my links for that down below and it is the Celebrity Brows brow kit. This is by the celebrity range it just it looks like that but yes absolutely love this been using this every time I fill in my eyebrows it's absolutely amazing but yeah I'll leave my blog post and my video links down below for you girlies so yes that been using that pretty much every other day and I do my makeup. And the next things are concealers and I did do a post, not a post, I did do a video on um, my sort of staple items so I, again if you want to check that out I'll leave a link for that down below. And one of the items in there was a concealer which I mentioned that I haven't really been using a lot because I've been buying new concealers and trying them. So this month I decided that I would start using it again and that is exactly what I did and I re found my love for it and it's the Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer and this is in the shade 040 be Soft Beige. I actually got it on at the minute and you can't really I'm wearing concealer which is great and then for the days that I'm not I don't wear this I've been wearing this pretty much every day for the days that I haven't been wearing this where I've been feeling I need more of a boost more of a pick-me-up I've been wearing the Rimmel London wake me up concealer this is in 030 classic beige and um, so I think it's a little bit lighter but this is uh, really nice under your eyes, makes your eyes brighter. I did do a video and a blog post on how I do a look using this concealer. And I'll, I'll link that all down below for you as well, don't worry. And then for days, like as I've just said, that I've been feeling a bit run down, need a bit of a boost to pick me up, I have been wearing the collection work the colour eyeshadow pencil this was mentioned in my last favourites I think yes my last favourites so um, I'm not going to talk too much about this but I've been wearing this along with this is in vintage blush I've been wearing that along with this one which is in vanilla sky which is a gorgeous white colour I will be having a blog post up soon on the whole range of these ones so keep an eye out for swatches and all that good stuff. But yes, so for the days that I have actually been wearing makeup I have been going towards my MAC um, eyeshadow. This is the one in Cranberry which this is a frost eyeshadow, I'm not too familiar with MAC eyeshadows, this is my first and only MAC eyeshadow but I think I will repurchase or purchase some more 
But yes, I've been going towards this a lot and then I've been pairing that with my Naked palette, which I have rediscovered my absolute love for and I've just been using Half Baked and Dark Horse, which are these two I've been putting them with the cranberry to make a nice smoked eye look and then for lips because I get cold sores quite a lot I get cold sores if I'm ill and I get cold sores if the weather changes and it just so happens I got ill when the weather changed so I ended up with two one that side and one that side which you may have seen in maybe my previous video you might have still been there um, yeah but I have been glued <laughs> to the Nivea lip butter in caramel cream which is just I've actually been glued to either this when Ollie's not around because it has almond oil in it or my body shop lip butter but I actually can't find it I'm pretty sure my daughter has stolen it but yeah so um I think that's pretty much it for my monthly favourites again for TV I might just throw that one in for TV I've been as you know obsessed with Great British Bake Off I watch that every Tuesday night 8 till 9 on BBC 2 but yeah so that's my monthly favourite TV show and I have actually recently got into watching Geordie Shaw and I am now nearly finished with season or series 2 so if anyone knows where I can watch series 3 three, four, five and six online then please comment down below so I can watch them because I need to catch up because season seven is now on the telly and I've been watching that as well and getting rather confused but I now understand the Gaz and Charlotte situation <laughs> anyway going off track there but yeah so um, if you know where I can watch the rest of the series only series one and two is on Love Hill I'm going to have a withdrawal. So if you know where I can watch all the others, then please comment below. Let me know. But yes, yeah, so that is pretty much everything for my monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for rambling on. and I'm sorry for the building work. And I'm sorry for my voice. Because I can still hear the sickness in my voice. And it is driving me mental. But yeah, so... Let me know if you like this video, please give a thumbs up if you did, if you didn't then just click the X and bye bye, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you want to and I will see you in my next video, bye.